Yet another recap, and a lot happened in the past few days. The Hive has leaked one of their future updates, Pixel Paradise keeps getting raided, and some YouTubers hit some pretty massive milestones. Starting off, The Hive has just leaked what I believe to be a new minigame. If you look at the banner for their Discord server, you'll notice that two things seem a bit off. First of all, the murder mystery game mode has a new NPC. Now, if you go to the Hive, you'll notice that the NPC hasn't changed, and I think that this is going to be a bit more than just Hive changing in an NPC. So, if you look closely, you can see that the NPC is like a doll or some sort of hunter holding a bat. Now, I think that this is the Hive teasing one of their new mini games or like a game inside of a game mode. For example, Skywars has duos, trios, squads, and Sky Royale. Whereas Murder Mystery currently only is one game mode, and in my opinion, currently it's quite repetitive. So I don't know what the objective of this game mode is, it could be a limited time game mode for all we know, but Murder Mystery hasn't had a big update since last Halloween, and I think this one is going to be pretty big. On to the second part of this image, you'll notice that some of the NPCs are in different positions than usual. Personally, I really like the Survival Games one. But I'm not sure if these are just the actual positions, or if they took a page out of Galaxite's book and made the NPCs animated. Either way, it looks pretty cool. But on to milestones, Pata iOS hit 20k, Ignacio Blades hit 50k and became the 4th or 5th Hive YouTuber to hit that milestone. And Rage Alexer, he isn't necessarily a Hive YouTuber, but he is one of the biggest Bedrock Edition YouTubers and he just hit 4 million subscribers. Huge congrats to everyone and also quite a few more people have been accepted into the $1,000 Galaxite tournament. Along with all of the Galaxite influencer ranks, Taria, Super Gamer DX, Frybry, Skyella, Danny is the Bomb, and Electro Games have all been accepted and more people will be accepted throughout the rest of this week. Moving on, Pixel Paradise has a Discord server and it just keeps getting raided. Basically, Pixel Paradise did a really bad job setting up their Discord server to the point where there literally isn't even a general chat. People can post images in any chat and there's been a ton of raiders who just spam ping everyone in the server. Pixel Paradise keeps digging themselves in a bigger hole. But anyway, that's all.